What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. So with all the sales for Battlefield franchise and especially BF2042, some may have decided to give 2042 a chance and they might be wondering what specialists should they be playing to be able to get things started in 2042 and what specialists should they avoid at least right now. And because of that, today we're taking a look at the best and the worst specialists for each class up until the early or mid season 7. Also, there might be some new things for more experienced players as well, so it's not a video specifically made for newer players. And a quick disclaimer here, the specialists mentioned in this video are my personal favorites and I believe I have some rational reasons for choosing them as well. But if you have a different opinion, make sure to comment down below and let me know what that is. Alright, so hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want more, and let's jump right in. I want to start from Assault class, I generally believe that new players need to be avoiding it because the specialists in this class need some more experience to say the least and they don't have the ability to participate in teamwork, at least most of them. And their abilities kind of work towards their own interest if you know what I mean. But with all that said, there has to be a specialist better than all of them, right? And I believe that specialist has to be McKay and the more experienced players can agree with me on this one. McKay has a grappling hook which allows him to basically reach places where other specialists literally can't reach. It's perfect when you want to capture objectives, but you don't want to be in a common place. You want to avoid those common places where the enemy can predict. You make some height advantage, get on a roof, on a container, or whatever available in that objective, and the job's gonna get way easier. Also, the grappling hook can hook you up with ground vehicles as well as air vehicles if they get close enough to you, and you can basically jump on them, use a couple of C5s, and blow them up for good. That's also something to consider because it just makes it way easier to get to those vehicles instead of just rushing towards them. You can also use the grappling hook on the ground to move from A to B faster. Some people even use it as a way to gain some speed for B hopping, which again makes it faster to move. Generally speaking, it's a multi-use grappling hook and can really come in handy and that's why you see a lot of players playing Assault with McKay. The specialist trait is called Nimble which allows you to move faster while aiming down sights and also move faster on zip lines. Again, in some situations, if you could move just a bit faster on zip lines, you could survive when someone tries to shoot you down. So in general, you gain a lot of advantages just to play with McKay, but mastering the specialist to its full potential is something else and needs more practicing. So yeah, McKay, in my opinion, is the best assault specialist. The worst specialist, however, might be a little bit controversial, but I'm going to say it's Dozer. Now, between the three nominees, Zane has the airburst rifle, which can come in handy, but what's more important is the perseverance special trait, which allows him to recover his health after each kill. That's just going to put Zane above Dozer for me. And on the other hand, Sundance has the wingsuit, which allows her to just move like a plane from one objective to another. And the maneuverability is insane, not to mention that scatter grenade, which can dominate in close quarter maps. That leaves us with Dozer, who has a shield that is literally bulletproof, rocket proof, and even tank proof, you name it. But it's a shield after all. It lowers the visibility, the maneuverability, and just makes him an easier target to kill. Like 9 out of 10 times when some dude with Dozer attacks me, I'll get the kill because all it takes is a small job and a 180 degree turn, and that's another Dozer dead. The reason why you see so many people play Dozer instead of someone like Zane, for example, is because Zane is a hard operator to get used to, and Dozer is straight up just easier to play, and I might even say it's a no-brainer, so that's it. Best Assault Specialist is McKay, and the worst is Dozer. Moving on to Engineer class, we've got three specialists here, but don't be fooled, choosing between them is so hard for me. In my opinion, the best specialist here is going to be Liz. Now, the reason for that is simply because there is no other specialist with a gadget more useful than hers. Liz's gadget is the G84 TGM, which is a TV guided troller launched missile, capable of destroying most air vehicles with one shot, except for the Super Hind and the Condor, and can also deal some decent damage to enemy armor on the ground. Since the missile is TV guided, some even use it as a way to take down some sniper campers, like those power snipers, or people who tend to camp in ridiculous places. So again, it's a multi-use missile. The special trait of Liz also makes the TGM even deadlier because it highlights damaged vehicles and hacked vehicles when TGM is active, so it actually tells you where to go to get the best out of the missile. So I'm just gonna call Liz the best engineer out there. Now to determine the worst engineer, you've got a hard job to do here, and it's gonna be a choice between Crawford and Boris. It's so hard for me to say this because I have tons of hours on Boris just to get that T1 mastery, but yeah, I guess Boris can be announced the worst specialist in engineer class. Why? 
simply because Crawford provides a better gadget and a way more useful specialist trait. So Crawford has a mounted Vulcan, which is simply put a minigun with a shield around it, and in some situation, it can be a fierce weapon. However, the special trait is where this specialist shines. You get one more rocket or missile for every shoulder-launched missile out there, like the RPG or the Javelin. That just makes a huge difference when it comes to playing as an engineer, because you get one more chance to destroy the annoying vehicles. Sometimes it's the difference between life and death. Boris, on the other hand, has a sentry gun, which he only needs to deploy, but it's going to engage automatically with both infantry and vehicles, so it's a no-brainer. The special trait on the specialist is nowhere near Crawford's. It's going to make the friendly nearby sentry guns stronger. So to make it short, Liz is just a little bit more effective than Crawford, and Crawford is just miles ahead of Boris. That's it. Moving on to support class, I believe I have an easy job here. You've got three specialists, and I believe Falk is the best among them. Why? Because it's just going to make surviving easier. In my opinion, the Cyret Pistol makes a difference of life and death in many situations. You can heal allies in the blink of an eye, you can heal yourself just as fast, and you don't even have to shoot friendlies with it directly. Just shoot the ground so they can pick it up. This last one makes this specialist really fast when it comes to healing. In every gunfight when you lose health, you can just refill very quickly, and that's why you can survive longer playing as Falk. Now, the special trait makes her twice as fast as any other support specialist in terms of reviving, and that can also make the difference of life and death, and it just makes your gameplay much faster and smoother. All of that combined makes Falk the ultimate healing machine. She's like a move-in hospital, but way faster. And that's how I can describe her. So yeah, I believe Falk deserves this place. Now, between Irish and Angel, it's a no-brainer for me to choose Angel as the worst specialist here. The reason is Irish is the master of fortification in Battlefield 2042, and Angel can never get anywhere close to him in terms of efficiency. Let's be honest, Irish has the tactical shield, perfect for defending objectives, has the Sentinel active protection system, which again, diffuses almost all throwable explosive grenades and is perfect for fortifying any objective, and his special trait allows him to replenish gadget ammo for allies he revives. It gives you a rocket, for example, as soon as he revives you. On the other hand, Angel can replenish your primary and secondary weapon ammo, which is exactly what an ammo crate can do. Like, that thing is literally useless, I have to be honest with you guys. Also, he can call in the crate so people can change their loadout, which nobody even uses. Like, I don't remember ever used it, or at least someone used my own loadout crate. That's how useless it is. So I just can't compare that with everything that Irish can do. So the worst specialist in support class is definitely Angel. Moving on to last but not least class, the Recon. It's hard to pick one as the best because some of these specialists can be really competent, but my choice is going to be Rao. Now, there are multiple reasons why I believe Rao is the best out of all four, but the more important one is his ability to hack into both infantry and vehicles. Rao can actually hack both air and ground vehicles, which can temporarily disable some parts of them, but that's not all. All hacked vehicles can be locked on by shoulder-launched missiles and staff shell on tanks, kind of like Softland, but it makes you less vulnerable against enemies. So this is how it works against vehicles. You can also hack into infantry systems. This spots all members of the squad uh, anywhere on the map, basically, uh, just by hacking one of them. Shows them to you for a brief moment, even behind walls, and disrupts their visibility to a degree. His special trait can really come in handy as well. Enemies who shoot you become spotted, but you can clearly see them wherever they are. It's like a little wall hack, to be honest, especially when you are a sniper and someone shoots you, you can quickly respond because you immediately know where they are and where the bullet came from. So putting all of that together, I believe Rao's place as the best recon is well-deserved. Now, the worst one, in my opinion, is easier to pick. We've got Blasco, Casper, and Pike. I believe Blasco is the second best recon specialist in the game. Her gadget is great, jams targeting and spotting equipment while showing every single gadget in its proximity, and deny spotting as well. It's just great. Also lets you know when someone enters its proximity and gives you some decent awareness of what's going on around you. Casper's drone got a nerf recently with Season 7 update. It can't hack vehicles and destroy devices anymore, and it's just a spotting and surveillance drone nowadays, but his special trait allows him to know if there is an enemy player near him, which is just great in many situations. Pike has a scanner that literally works as a wall hack, highlights enemies in her proximity, shows them clearly behind walls, but the issue with this device is she herself gets spotted when the device is active. It also has a longer cooldown period, which makes it just a bit hard to take advantage of, 
in many situations. So despite Pi being a decent operator for certain maps, generally speaking, both Casper and Blasco are just way better. So because of that, I'm just going to say Pike is the worst specialist in Recon class. So let's take a look and review the choices once more. The best assault specialist is McKay, while the worst one is Dozer. The best engineer specialist is Liz, and the worst one is Boris. The best support specialist is Falk, and the worst one is Angel. And finally, the best recon specialist is Rao, and the worst one is Pike. So here we are, people. The best and worst specialist in each class for Battlefield 2042. Hope this was helpful and hope you guys enjoyed, especially for those who are new to the game. I believe this video might be a good guide on how to choose the best specialist to get used to the game. We're obviously better off starting with the best ones or the easier ones and then move on to harder or less effective specialists. Just keep in mind that this list was made based on my own experience. Yours might give you different results and the comment section is the best place to discuss about that. So feel free to let me know if you just don't agree with my choices. And until next time, guys. Stay cool.